Joe Thompson with the Bio and Ag Engineering Department. This is our biodiesel ransom mat made by Metrome, instrument that we use to measure the oxidative stability index of biodiesel samples. The oxidative stability index gives you an indication of what kind of shelf life you can expect to get out of your fuel. Uh, of course, the higher the number, the better the shelf life. The, the actual spec is three hours and if you have a biodiesel that's fresh and uh, you get at least three hours out of your ransom at reading, then you're pretty good. You're pretty good to go with uh, with your fuel stored for at least six months, probably longer. We um, take small samples of biodiesel, about seven and a half grams, and it heats it up to approximately 110 degrees C. It bubbles air through the sample. And then from there, the air goes into a reaction vessel uh, that has about 60 mils of water in it. And uh, there's also a conductivity probe in there. So as the biodiesel deteriorates, uh, basically the biodiesel breaks down, forms peroxides, they, they get swept into the water and the conductivity will increase. One of the specs for biodiesel is oxidative stability index. Uh, the US spec is three hours. So the sample needs to sit in there for three hours at that temperature with, with air being blown through it um, and still maintain its integrity. If you get a stability index that's less than three hours, then it's probably a good idea to use up your fuel uh, quickly because it's gonna have a, a shorter shelf life. It's going to further deteriorate. It could polymerize and form insolubles that will could tend to plug filters and things like that. The European spec is six hours. So in order to achieve six hour oxidative stability index, we typically will add a antioxidant. We're also using it actually for um, our spontaneous combustion experiments. We're taking samples from, the, from another container that we're heating and bubbling air through, and we take samples of it Every, every hour for a period of say eight hours. Then we'll run an oxidative stability index on those, on those samples to see the progression of the deterioration. And that gives us an indication of how far down the fuel has deteriorated and its tendency to oxidize and create heat and eventually cause spontaneous combustion. So there you have our biodiesel ransom mat that, that is used for testing and research.